I'm Robert Williams from MetalRules.com and joining me here today in Anaheim, California for the 2009 Winter NAM show is Norway Symphonic Black Metal Master Selenos of Dimi Borgir. How are you doing today, Selenos? Doing pretty good. Yeah. How are you doing? Great, thanks. So you're here at uh, NAM Weekend to promote some endorsements you have with Randall Amplifiers, Ingo, and ESP Guitars? Yeah. We're here. Uh, pretty much half the band is here. And, uh, Hanging out, meeting friends and uh, sponsors, and uh, yeah, just trying to have a good time. You Should got some new signature gear out? Um, not yet, but uh, I believe it's on its way, and uh, we're just waiting for new customs to arrive. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Have you got to play on any prototypes yet? Not really. There's uh, there's no prototypes for us that we uh, we work on right now. So. And you were involved in designing the signature model? Yeah, I mean, um, both Gullers and my own are, uh, are our setup, so to speak, our specs, everything. So, you know, it's, uh, we're supposed to um, have that coming in the next few months. So, Dimi Borgir is about to embark on a European tour with uh, Five Finger Death Punch and Lamb of God, the Defenders of the Faith 2 tour. Right, right. Yeah, in, um, in February in basically uh, England. Yeah, five shows. What can uh, fans in the UK expect this time around? Um, well, they will expect that will the best of us, I hope. And um, we'll um, put on a little bit updated light show and, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say too much, but, you know. You guys are pulling out some songs you haven't played in a long time, right? Well, we'll see. You know, it's uh, always try to get the other guys to, maybe we should try some more obscure stuff. But then again, you have to kind of adjust to the, um, to the audience as well, you know, and uh, we'll see. It's not decided yet. So I think a lot of people's minds is, after the UK tour wraps up, are you guys going to start focusing on a follow-up to Insorte Diaboli, or...? Yeah, I mean, we already have, um, like, quite a lot of ideas separate, uh, and we just have to, yeah, get together and start arranging it, so... Looking forward to that. It's going to be a uh, killer to start working on the, you know, just writing songs again. Do you guys have any riffs down so far? Or? Yeah, tons. Quite a lot, but, you know... You don't know if it works until you're there and you work on the actual song, you know. So uh, it's about dissecting all the bits and take, keep the best. Do you have any lyrical ideas in mind? Yeah, um, I have uh, probably 60% of the, the lyrical ideas down. It's just the same with the music, you know. It takes a while, you have to go back at it, reform it, reshape it, and make sound. Make, make it sound proper. Yeah. What's the lyrical theme? There's no particular theme. Um, we're probably just gonna stick to separate songs on this album. So, uh, not not gonna reveal too much. And musically, will it be around the same direction as that's, the last that's album? That's way too to say. I mean, I, I can only say that it's gonna be dim no matter what, you know. It's been, uh, by the time the next album will be out, it's gonna be three years since the previous one, and in that period of time, you're bound to uh, you'll probably do something different, and uh, we haven't chosen you to work with yet as producer either. I mean, we produce our own albums, but um, you're probably gonna try and look for uh, something new in the engineer department. Not Frederick Nordstrom. Um, I mean, we keep everyone, uh, every angle open, but uh, I think the the idea in the band right now is to try and something else, you know, move forward. Uh -huh. uh, last time we spoke, you said you were planning on having Darius enter the studio as the drummer. Is that still the plan? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, uh, he did such uh, amazing work on the tour, and uh, he's an extremely reliable uh, drummer, um, awesome person, and uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, everything is cool with him, and I'm looking forward to, to be working with him on new tracks. What were some of your favorite metal records of 2008? Caught me off guard. I mean, uh, there's plenty, but uh, I don't really look at albums as such. You know, I'm listening to so many different types of music, so uh, I draw, collect energies from uh, whatever 
I think sounds cool and gives me something. So, but there was there was a few. But Do you have any medal predictions for 2009? Uh, hopefully, we'll have our album out by uh, by fall or something. Wow. Or hopefully, but you know, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, that will be my uh, that will be a positive thing if that if that would go through. But. Um, it's too early to say, you know, we, we never set a deadline or anything because if you do, then you're just going to get stressed and you feel you're in limits, you know, so. Maybe after the UK tour wraps up, you'll have some time to work on Insidious? Yeah, I mean, the Insidious stuff is uh, it's already done. It's just that uh, we're working on mixing it now. We've been mixing it ourselves and it sounds pretty decent, but we're going to have a few other guys to try it out too and see what it comes comes out of it just to see the differences so and any expected release date on that no I mean now uh, the songs are probably like four or five years old uh -huh. at least and uh, we've been working on the album not too much but it's been laying dead for a while after uh, after we were done in the studio so we'll see well I know you're a busy guy and I'll let you get back to it uh, before we wrap this up do you have any last words for your DMU fans out there uh, yeah, I mean, uh, really happy to see so many people show up at the NAM thing and uh, at the shows. The last tour we did with dancing was great, you know, a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the support. Thanks a lot.